What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the male reproductive system. So we know this is a really important system because it is where sperm is going to be made and how sperm is going to be released into the outside world, right? That's very important. Now, let's just go straight into it. What we're going to do is we're going to look at two views, a side view and a front view. But the most important view, in my opinion, is the side view. So what do I mean by that? So here we have the side view. Basically, what we did is we're slicing Eminem in half so we can see both what's going on on the outside, that's the one we all know about, and, and the stuff that's going on on the inside. The male reproductive system is both on the outside and inside, okay? So bear this in mind. Try and imagine this picture. Side view. So let's point out the obvious thing here, right? We can start here with this one. What's that? That's the penis, right? Penis. We all know the function of the penis, hopefully. So now let's go to this one. What is this? This right here is the testes, the testes. The testes is what? This is the place where sperm is going to be made. Spermatogenesis will happen here. Now, what exactly is the bag in which the testes is held, right? We call that the scrotum, the scrotum. Now, after sperm is made in the testes, it will be stored in this little thing on top of the testes called the what? The epididymis. This is where sperm will be st stored and mature to be able to grow and become stronger and swim faster and all these kinds of things. Now, after it's stored here, it's going to then move into this pipe here. What do we call this pipe? We call this pipe two names, one of two names, sperm duct or vas deferens. So the sperm that's made, it's going to travel up here, the vas deferens, and it's go up, up, up. This is going, this is happening now. So it goes from the outside of your body, which you can see on the outside. Now it's going inside your body, right? You can't see this pipe from the outside. So it's going and it's going, it's going, going over this little thing. What's this little thing called here? This thing is not part of the male reproductive system, okay? It's part of the urinary system. It's the bladder. This is where your urine is stored, right? And it makes sense. Look, your urine is stored in this little bag, and your urine will be released into this little pipe, when you pee and it's going to travel outside of your penis and outside, right? So the bladder is very important, but it's not part of the male reproductive system. So this little pipe is going to go over the bladder, behind it, and then connect to the same pipe. Notice, right? The pipe's connecting, connecting, connecting to this pipe. That's the same pipe to which the pee is connected. And that makes sense because males pee and ejaculate out of the same pipe. What do we call this pipe? We call this pipe the urethra. Urethra. Now, Notice, so the pee goes into that urethra, um, the spermatic duct goes into the urethra. Now, look at this little gland. This is called the seminal vesicle, okay, the seminal vesicle. And this little gland is going to make stuff that's going to join the sperm. So the sperm is coming, right? And then the seminal vesicle is going to make some stuff that's going to join the sperm. What does it make? It makes fructose, fructose. That's like glucose, right? It's like basically a form of energy. The sperm is going to swim, 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 right? They need energy to be able to continue to do that. So the fructose is going to join and provide the energy for the sperm to do so. Now, we also have this little gland here, the prostate gland. This is the one that can frequently get cancer if you're a male. Um, uh, so this one is going to make another thing. Remember, when sperm is released into the environment into the female. It's going to be released into the vagina. And the vagina is very, very acidic. And so the sperm are all just killed instantly. But when this prostate gland, it makes alkaline fluid or basic fluid. This will then join the sperm and hopefully neutralize or cancel out some of that acid so that more sperm can survive. So that's the purpose of the prostate gland. So what do we call this um, ejaculation? Okay, Because it consists of sperm, seminal vesicle fluid, and prostate gland fluid. Okay, we call that semen. So semen is the combination of all of these things, and it's released out at once, right? So this is it for the side view. I hope this makes sense. So the front view is going to be, wait, let's first go to the testes. We're going to look at the testes a bit. So here we're zooming into the testes. There's four important names you need to know. The testes itself, which is the obvious one. Sperm is made here. Epididymis, right? We already labeled this one. Um, now, when we slice open this testes, look, we're going to slice it open. There's a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot of pipes, right? What do we call these pipes? Seminephrous tubules. So if we look at the testes, these little pipes, these seminephrous tubules is where sperm will be made. Let me show you a quick picture. So here we are, we're pulling out one of these seminephrous tubules, and this is where sperm is made. This right here is where sperm is made. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Sperm. Now, 
Here is a quick front view. I'm not going to label it, but you can hopefully now you can look at it, understand it better by comparing it to the side view. So here is a summary of the key terms you need to know. And I hope this made as much sense as possible.